in. It's something Olivia Bogus doesn't mind at all right now. I, to be honest, I wasn't a huge snake person. She got over the fear and now works here at the Phoenix Herpetological Society. This place is full of snakes. Some deadly, some not so nice. Others pretty chill, like Rat Bite. He got his name after his owner tried to feed him a live rat and the rat ended up eating on him for dinner. The owner taped up the wounds and threw rat bite on a golf course to die. It took the society a Touch her face, you know, touch her cheeks, and she's just, she cuddles in a little bit, and it's just like, just like a cuddly kitten, kind of, I mean, with scales. But the professionals here say part of getting over the fear of snakes is seeing and learning about them. It's not impossible, and people believe that it is. It might just take some people longer than others. Justin Pizera, EBC 15, Arizona. You held one while you were there, didn't you? I did, yeah, yeah. A rat bite, who I have to say is actually friendly. Like a cuddly kitten, like she said. Yeah, well, I don't know if I'd go that <laughs> far, but I mean, friendly, Close. kind of, sort of. Okay, so the society, they are holding snake days tomorrow. Okay, again, kind of like Justin said, just a chance to get up close to the snakes. This is open to all ages. We put up all the information on ABC15.com. Hey, speaking of the kiddos, a new place for kids to play coming up.